Just finished a session with my client and he had a little bit of anxiety. It was his second day of approaching. He's not done much cold approaching in the past. He was uh, in his 50s and we worked on just doing some very simple approaches. Stores, just asking for the best gift ideas, asking for directions, getting comfortable with talking to people. That was the objective in the beginning. And slowly and slowly, he started to get more comfortable with talking to women. At the end of the five hours, we just had an instant date where these three Mexican girls didn't speak much English. One of them, the one that I was speaking to, her English was really good. We met them in the Bellagio, which is this hotel behind me, uh, and we took them to Caesars uh, right next to Bellagio, this beautiful coffee shop outdoors. And we spent about 45 minutes there. He's gonna meet his girl later today and my one's Instagram and number. So it's really important if you get the Instagram, make sure you get the number as well. Uh, iMessage they use here a lot uh, or WhatsApp because Instagram can be difficult for messaging. When you get the number or WhatsApp, you go straight into the notification. Whereas Instagram, some people have it switched off. So then it takes ages to kind of communicate. Uh, anyway, what I wanted to say is, you know, if you're struggling with anxiety, if you can't approach, which is very a common sticking point, it's actually the biggest sticking point in game, then start with easy approaches. Don't try to do some crazy direct approach, but just start with indirect, simple, asking for directions. Slowly what's going to happen is you're going to get comfortable with doing the approach. So that's what you want to concentrate on. You don't want to concentrate on getting a number. You don't want to concentrate on taking on a date. You don't even want to concentrate on the conversation at that point. What you want to do when you go out, only concentrate on what your sticking point is and nothing more. Because that's how it gets difficult. That's how it gets confusing for guys and they don't even do any approaches because they're like, okay, well, you know, I want to get a date with her, but I can't even approach her. Complexity is the enemy of taking action. So you want to simplify it and then slowly and slowly build up. This is what I do with my clients, right? That's why on the first session, I would tell them, you know, in a month from now or in a week from now, like here we're in Vegas and the guys are doing an intensive one week training. So it's super intense. After each day of training, we tell them a little bit more information so they don't get overloaded. And this is what you want to do. This is the reason why, you know, people don't succeed when they watch videos or they read books because they're just overloading themselves with information and they don't actually ex execute it. So when you don't execute it, you don't learn anything. It's just fury. It's like a university professor that's never made money, but they're talking about how to become a millionaire because they've read books on how to become a millionaire or how to run a business. With Dan heading to the shopping mall to coach the clients. Beautiful day outside. This guy is absolutely killing it in Vegas, going on dates after dates. I had a date on Sunday with these two Mexican girls. None of the guys wanted to join me because they were busy well, was too busy at the palms. Damn! Alright, what's the tip of the day, Dan? Tip of the day, to get your tip wet. Sometimes my genius is, it's almost frightening. Yeah, so yesterday uh, I, was, I was telling my client about how important the open is. So, because what women do is they make a quick first impression of you and usually on the first day that's what we work on because yesterday was Monday and we worked on the fundamentals, the basics. Just by doing that correctly, we ended up on an instant date with these two Costa Rican girls. My guy yesterday, he uh, approached a really, really beautiful girl, well, woman. As he approached and had a conversation with her, he then disengaged and I was like, why did you walk away? And he goes, I didn't, I felt like it wasn't going to go anywhere. And I didn't like the idea, he said, I felt like, and I was like, well, you have no experience in approaching or anything else. Women will initially in the beginning put their guard up. It's important for them to do that because they don't know who you are. They don't know how many weirdos have turned up to them. You have to understand that there's a possibility that they get approached at least six or seven times before you even you approached. And majority of those people probably not as, let's say, kind-hearted or hearts in the right place like you. Um, and it might be a bit creepy, she's not, and she just wasn't into it. So if you have to, don't in, disengage quickly, allow yourself to try to get her to warm up to you. So trust is the most important. You have to then follow it up by from getting trust from her. You have to then follow up by being in the game and not allowing yourself to disengage. It's important to not run away. Yeah, because what happens is they'll throw out hurdles because they get so many guys approaching them. Uh, I was actually telling this client yesterday, 
So remember when we were in the strip club? Oh, you went there. Me and Sam were there. Yes, yeah, Sam. And the girls would come and say the same line over and over again, and it got boring after a while. It was just like a, you know, it was like the same, going through the same thing. And this happens to women when you know you approach them. They're kind of like, oh, not again, oh, no, right? Because yeah. they're probably thinking, all right, you're gonna say the same, the same exact lines, and they'll have the guard up a little bit to see if you can overcome that little bit of resistance and then that will show them that you're a confident guy right you're sure of yourself you know what you want and you go for it killing it in the mall so dan what's the best strategy in the shopping mall is it would you say you got to go situationally like for example if you look at this here um, this jewelry my client opened a, a girl there yesterday and he went in situation he said oh which one do you think will suit me Right, my favorite one is which one will you buy for me? If it's jewelry, do you like that one, Dan? That's cute, sir. It's cute. Yeah, I can tell it. Dan loves the cute openers. All right, so see you on the next video, baby.